So I got a crash. Let's see if um, I can recover the save file. So this is the save file. Player 3 completed 9%. Um, it doesn't look like this. So because it doesn't look like this garbled junk I hear, see up top here, it looks like the save file is not corrupted and it will work. So my, my game isn't completely toast. I can start from here and keep going. Uh, but every time you have a clack crash, it's kind of disconcerting because save files aren't reliable. And having to stop playing and come back later is also disconcerting. Um, so the state the game is in right now, it's best to try to complete the game in one sitting. Um, okay, so it worked. It respawned me, but it respawned me not at the checkpoint, but at the, like, the start of the area. Um, which is fine. All I gotta do is platform up these falling temporary platforms. There was one era where this grappling hook thing wasn't working in this area. Um, it's not happening now. It didn't seem to happen, like, with any particular version. It's just some sporadic thing. Uh, they'll randomly start happening to you without warning. Bats are gonna give me trouble down here. The thing with the bats in this area is that they don't their hive isn't actually destroyable. So um you can't destroy the hive beforehand to present your, prevent yourself from being attacked by bats. So you'll just be inundated by bats, and there's nothing you can do about it. So you just get bats. melee attack is worthless. So you can go about trying just going down as fast as possible to get to the bottom before you get too many bats. All right, so I only got one bat on me at the bottom. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. So yes, that's the first thing they patched, the beaver house patched, and they patched it fine. Okay, one more bat. Now I have only one health to deal with that fast bug that'll come around the corner at me right here. Yep. down before the bats get me. And here's the glyph, the old one and only glyph in the beta. That's the symbol that was on the door. Thank you. 
Okay, now to use the, gl the glyph, just hit control, right? Hit the other control. Yeah, it's the control on the left side of the keyboard. And if you have enough tokens, you can get through that door. In this version, we ha see the uh, health bar for the Watuka Nui works. So there are way screen configurations where that doesn't work. Um, so don't, don't be surprised at that. If you step on the stone even after it lands and shatters into a bunch of pieces, it still takes your health. Which means that the, uh, the, the damage is associated not with the, uh, the stones flying, but just the bottle of the stone. Any bottle is like labeled with the, the stone. Uh, which is kind of weird. It's kind of a, it's kind of an error in the design. Like it really shouldn't be that case. You don't step on its rocks, you die. So how you do is you just shoot it in the weak spot when the weak spot appears until its health is down to half. Then it'll just, like never come up again. And to get it to come up, you have to use the glyph. Use the uh, the glyph. Using the glyph uses some energy. So to get rid of the last four increments of health, you have to replenish your your energy somehow or somewhere. Also, if it goes underneath you, you lose health. nothing really in this game that makes it clear that it's the glyph um, that causes the, the boss to come back up again. So you just gotta kinda guess. As well as there's nothing that tells you how to use, what controls to use to use the glyph. So a lot of guessing had to be done to figure out how to do this. I believe no other media explains where those came from. Like, uh, the Nog has them in it, but it doesn't explain where they came from. So, as far as I'm concerned, the cookie stones aren't canon. Anyway, so that was Onua's level. I managed to get through it losing one crash, and that crash was not a systematic crash. So it wasn't a crash that happens every time. It was kind of a random crash. Right, so it's the type of crash that's very difficult to fix. But anyway, one crash so far. Um, and some, of course, jankiness and glitchiness. I forgot if this cutscene plays in the original files, whether they actually had to do a patch to make it play in the beta. I believe it doesn't play, and this is actually patched in. Also, you see that area, that region in the background? Um, that's actually an area that's playable. And it's some version of this pa of this game, some patch actually made it so that you spawn in that area, as opposed to the one you usually would spawn. Let's see if that happens in patch 1.4 or whatever patch this is. It's the latest patch of uh, as of September 13th, 2020. Yeah. 
Yeah, so this spawns one area down. Okay. Um, so. Galley's level. Um, originally, um, Galley's melee did not work. If you tried to, in, if you had an enemy that was in range of Galley's melee, then attempting to do the melee would result in the game crap or game crashing. Um, so you couldn't get very close to anything, or else it would crash the game. Luckily, Galley's, Galley's level doesn't have many as many Rahi in it. Um, so the threat of crashing the game is somewhat le was somewhat less. It were it should work now because in patch 1.3 it did work. Um, it was patched. This level is the most changed from the alpha to the beta, and there's a lot of there are many many scrap like the entire beginning of the level um, was scrapped um, when they tried to develop the beta, which they did in a rush at the last minute. Um, there's also probably the most broken, if I want to use the word broken, most incomplete and least well playing in the alpha. Um, in the beta, the beaver house managed to get so that it plays perfectly fine, just as fine as on Nua's level did. Um, and it is more fun than on Nua's level, and the background music is very good. Hopefully my recording setup is such that you can hear the background music, and the background music is not drowning out my voice. Um, there is a patch version where they omitted this grappling location um, for the top of the gate, and then they put it back in later. I think the reason why this was taken out at one point is because they just wanted to totally disable the grappling hook in the village area for reasons that will be explained later. But they figured out a way to solve that problem without disabling the grappling hook. So then they put the uh, grappling point in the village area back in. Okay. So that's what went on with that. This conversation took a lot of work to get to work. Yeah, if you try to play the original files, no comma will not talk to you. Um, so that's something the Beaver House fixed. Good job. Um, nope, and they aren't even getting paid. This part is pretty tight with the tokens, you need every la pretty much every last token. There are a lot fewer tokens in Galley's level too, so each individual token matters a whole lot more. Yeah, so this was... I don't know if this is a reference to, or or what for Minog. I think the, the beta was developed the beta, you know, is the beta, right? Minog was modeled after the alpha. Not the beta. I don't know how the timeline exactly works, but yeah, that gear reference is kind of interesting. You can't actually find this gear. It doesn't. It does not exist. So the dialogue is. You can't actually fulfill that dialogue. So we call it unfulfillable quest. You can, you can find the gear in Minog, though. the grappling hook first before I go and get the, uh, the, uh, Rao. Don't say Mask of Translation, say Rao, because, you know, you want to be a nerd. No, not be a nerd. So you need at least one of those um, two tokens that I missed there. And I believe you can kind of pull that off. You get used to be that you can kind of cheese it 
maybe kind of, maybe there's a way to get them just the right angles to jump through this thing that we're supposed to jump through. But for some reason, I can't pull it off right now. Maybe it's patched. If that's the case, I might have to go through this all over again. got a crash for jumping on top of the crab, so maybe jumping on things in Galley's level still causes a crash on those, so that's a crash. 